Developing news tonight at 6, a local gym, gymnast killed in a terrible accident. She loved gymnastics her entire life. It, you can't blame gymnastics. Melanie Coleman was a junior at Southern Connecticut State University. The 20-year-old suffered a spinal injury during practice and died two days later. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live on the Southern campus with more for us tonight. Just a terrible story, Matt. Oh, an awful story, Denise. You know, the news of this accident and Melanie Coleman's death is just crushing to those that know her. Not only was she a talented gymnast, but she also continued to give back, sharing her knowledge of the sport she loved. Melanie just uh, slipped off the bar. It was uh, just a total accident and even a just totally tragic. Thomas Alberti with New Era Gymnastics says the past 72 hours have been pretty emotional. For all of us here has just been a devastated loss. Melanie Coleman, who spent the last 10 years training with Alberti at his Hamden gym, was fearless and determined, just like the t-shirt she helped design. The 20-year-old junior with the Southern Connecticut State University gymnastics team was training on the uneven bars Friday when she slipped off, suffering a serious spinal injury. She passed away from her injuries yesterday. Every gymnast, and we have about 75 kids on team, and they all looked up to her as, as follow, wanting to follow in her footsteps. In a statement, Southern's president says her coaches and professors describe Melanie as a special young woman who excelled in both the classroom and in the gym. Our deepest sympathies are extended to her family and friends on this tragic loss. The nursing major was also named a Scholastic All-American last year. But Coleman's reach stretches far beyond the Southern campus and her club gym in Hamden. Prior to Southern, she was a team captain, MVP, and All-State gymnast at Jonathan Law High School in Milford. With Law's principal telling Eyewitness News they're heartbroken to hear the news. Even though she was busy with her college work and commitments, she continued to give back to the Law community, helping our younger gymnasts along the way. The Coleman family has deep roots here, their family, and we send our sincerest condolences to them. The family has all been together for the past three days, supporting each other. Um, and uh, it's going to take a, a lot of help in the community to continue that support for them. Now, Southern is making counselors available for any students that need support. Also, a GoFundMe page, along with a meal train to help the family during this time. That has been set up as well. We've got the information on the Channel 3 app. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarlane, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.